In today's Artist Spotlight, fine art meets fine food. The Anchorage Restaurant in West Greenville is hosting its first ever Meet the Artist event of this year, anyway, with Bethany Maybe. Her works make up the current Anchorage exhibition series curated by the Art and Light Gallery. So we've got Bethany Maybe joining us right now in the studio. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Hi. Thanks for having me. Um, your collection is called Structured motion. So first talk to us a little bit about the, the inspiration behind your works. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I've always been super drawn to symbolism of any kind, just even if it's taking my process in the studio and relating it back to what's going on in my everyday life. But then also um, symbolism through even everyday common objects that grab your attention and allow you to kind of go down a rabbit hole of self-study on what that symbolism could mean. So for me, that's always been yeah. done through circles in my work, which to me have kind of been a representation of my study of patterns and cycles. And this new body of work, um, the archways started showing up more. And to me, I love that the archways, if you look at the history of the symbolism of arches, they have this support with things leaning on each other, but they allow this movement through. So to yeah. me, this body of work has almost provided hence the title, Structured Motion. Well, and it's obviously something something really passionate about. Um, during mm -hmm. tonight's event at the Anchorage, there's a signature cocktail being served, some small bites. It's kind of that culmination of fine art and fine food. Um, mm -hmm. Why do you find that to be such a good pairing? Makes for a, a fun I mean, meet the artist. It's a perfect pairing because yeah. I feel like they're both, everybody likes those visceral mm -hmm. responses of the senses. So to me, it's like art, you're having a sensorial response through color and texture and food is not any different. So I feel like. Have you, have you always known you were going to be an artist? Did you grow up knowing these things? I always knew I wanted to be an artist. I yeah. just didn't know how or what I would make. And so yeah. it is, it just kind of evolves over time. You just keep finding your, your language as an artist more and more each as yeah. time goes on, but and, yeah. And you're from Illinois. I'm you, from Illinois. And you travel where the art is. You love Greenville. I love Greenville. I've oh. been here, I was gonna say, I, we talked about that before I was on, how it feels like a little home away from home for me. So yeah, Art and Light took a chance on me maybe eight years ago. I reached yeah. out to Teresa and sh I was like, are you willing to carry a non local artist and so now I've been coming here almost every year since. And That's very yeah. cool. What's it like for you when, when you meet people? The uh, You know, you, you go to these events and people want to talk to you about your works and these are things yeah. that are so personal to you and now you actually are spending time face to face with everybody uh, diving in. What's that like? Yeah, it's, it's a challenging part. I enjoy the challenge of it but it is hard because all of the thoughts and all of everything that I'm connected to with my art is so personal that it is hard to articulate that. But yeah, abbreviate yeah. why you feel so passionate about anything in life. Go, You're, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard to abbreviate. All right, there's yeah. a conversation there, and I think that's that's understood mm -hmm. in, the, in the arts community. The um, yeah. Anchorage exhibition series rotates every quarter. Right. Yours is able to be viewed through April 1st. Um, what do you want people to, to take from the journey or from your works or, or know about your journey as an artist when they see this? Yeah, I think I just want them to have. I paint for my own, a connection to myself, and I hope that others can find a connection to the work, but even if it's something they can't describe and put into words, just having that moment of connection with it, and hopefully they can come out and have a good time tonight and have some drinks, and yeah. I'm excited to hang out with my Greenville Well, and friends. anything that, that supports the arts community, you're, you're going to yeah. have a lot of great people out there. They'll have right. a lot of fun. We want to yeah. put the info on screen now so everybody knows the Meet the Artist event is from 4.30 to 6 tonight at the Anchorage. Um, your artist talk is going to be scre streamed live on Art and Gallery's Instagram at 5.15. You know what you're going to say? No idea. Okay. No. Good. That's all the more reason to tune in to that. Um, tickets to attend in person are also able to be purchased through the Anchorage's website. Yeah. We'll link that to ours on accesscarolina.com. Bethany, thank you so much yeah, for being thank here. Thank you it's a pleasure. for having me. Thank you.